what is up welcome to another cook with me you guys it is a casserole time we crack. are doing chicken crack casserole chicken crack casserole or crack chicken crack casserole. chicken what <laughs> that's a chicken chicken what, what, what? i don't know <laughs> Anyways, it's a casserole. It involves chicken and a lot of yummy other things, you guys. A lot of you guys have been requesting, hey, we need some ideas for dinners, things like that. They're like, can you do a cook with me? That is what we're doing today. So for this recipe, all you're gonna need is probably a lot of things you already have in your fridge or pantry. It's a lot of the basic stuff. I've got chicken here. I did a rotisserie because it's just way easier, easier and delicious. We got some bacon. This is the pre-cooked bacon. I literally just threw it in the microwave and it's all crunchy and yummy. So nice. you're gonna need some bacon. You're gonna need a can of cream of chicken soup. You're gonna need some butter, sour cream, Ritz crackers, ranch seasoning. You guys, I have like two more tubs in my pantry of this. Oh my god. That's how much we love this. Cream cheese, cheddar cheese. Does that not all sound amazing for oh, one? yes. Like we're gonna mix this all together, make it a big, huge casserole and it's gonna be delicious. And you guys, one of my favorite um, casserole dinners is the chicken and broccoli casserole. Mm. And so Emberlyn makes it, my mom makes it, Tina makes it. We've done a cook with me on it. We'll put it, we'll put it in like the little tags or whatever in the description yeah. so you guys can check it out. But casseroles, cheesy chicken casseroles are so good. So good, and I love casseroles because it feeds a lot of people for not very many ingredients. And we're gonna probably double this up for us tonight. We because... are doubling this up. So this is all for a serving of one, and so while this one's in the oven, I'm gonna prep and make the other one, but this would also, I was thinking, could be a good freezer meal also. Yeah, because I was gonna say, they're good leftovers even though. Yeah, yeah, because this stuff reheated tastes, tastes about the same as if you were just to pull it out of the oven. So. And, and we're not doing it, but a good side with these chicken casseroles is like Spanish rice. Mmm, watermelon. <laughs> or no. salad. Spanish that rice. That feels heavy though. A casserole, <laughs> like you have a heavy casserole and then Spanish rice on the side? Uh, yeah. I don't know. To me, it would That's be like, like a my fruit birthday or a dinner. Salad. I know, but you're weird. <laughs> oh, wow. No, I'm just kidding. But I would just probably do like watermelon salad. Cut up some cucumbers. Yeah, but comment down below, let me know. When Tina said you're weird and started laughing, if you were like, I'm so glad Cook With Me's are back. <laughs> <laughs> I know, the banter is just great. So we're gonna prep this, show you guys how to do this. That way you guys can have some ideas for this week for for your meal for the week. And with casseroles, the great thing is, is you can do it to your liking. You can add stuff, you can take stuff out. However you want to do it. You know what I would love for us to do with school coming up and back to school? What would you love for us, us to do? <laughs> for you to for do? Us? And okay. me to watch That's you what do? I more and more yes, <laughs> is for us to find some really good like miniature frozen meals to make like that you could bag up individually so the, the kids, kids can literally up. just put them in yeah give us some ideas for yeah. something like that because it's like i feel like we do spend a lot of money on like little individual lasagnas frozen meals. or frozen things if i could ho home make it in bulk and then just cut it up and make it like snack size i guess i guess we could do a lasagna meal and then just bag it small because the kids they, they will just go boom boom just boom do a serving of it or whatever. that would be awesome yeah we'll figure it out you guys because we got to get it going we got to get organized with soccer and all the things coming up we're gonna have some crock pot meals freezer meals all of the things so we just gotta stay on top of it that's my plan okay so first things first you guys you are gonna need your sour cream and you're gonna need a cup of that so we're gonna do one cup of sour cream i know it's a shocker i'm measuring it and is this just like kind of like a dump like a dump meal? Kind of. Yeah, you kind of just dump it all in and spread it all out. Ooh, if you guys got any easy bake, like one pot meals, let us know. One pot are the Hit best. Hit us up in the uh, the description, the comments down below. We're gonna go through them and look for different recipes. Yes. So basically you're gonna take your sour cream, one cup, we're gonna take four ounces of the cream cheese. And, and Tina just wanted to cut the cream cheese with the biggest knife that she could find in the house. <laughs> That's how I'm for your cream cheese. <laughs> wow. Well, I knew I had to get through the tin foils. <laughs> oh yeah, you know that tin foil. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. You can be stubborn, you know? <laughs> okay, four ounces. And then we're just gonna squeeze that in. You do want this at room temperature. So mine's been sitting out and it's so it's totally soft right now. Which and that's is... a plop and drop right there. I'll tell you right now though, when cream cheese, when you have to work with it cold, Ooh. not fun. Oh, just because it's, it's just like pain in the butt. So then you're gonna just take a fork and mix these two ingredients together. You're not gonna be able to tell them apart. Oh, wow. Wait, so is that cream cheese or sour cream? 
And sour cream and cream cheese. Oh, I couldn't tell. Oh my gosh. I was like, is he for real right now? Did he not just watch what happened? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. So you're just gonna mix that up and then kind of just put it to the side for a minute because then we're gonna work on the Ritz crackers, which you need about a cup of crushed Ritz crackers. And we're gonna just do this in a Ziploc. And guess what? I ran out of the big Ziplocs. So we're gonna just do this in the little one. Oh. The little cute Ziploc bag. So you're gonna just put a bunch in here. I'm gonna just kind of guesstimate. Did they, there's no, no actual amount. Well, it just says a cup of crushed, cup of crushed oh, cup. ones. Okay. Yeah, so we're just gonna crush these up. And then after these are crushed, we pour the butter in and that's gonna be the topping for the casserole. Oh, Which okay. I was like, okay, I saw this recipe. I'm like, Ritz crackers? Like all this stuff like screams Danny. Ritz crackers, like. chicken, bacon, cheese, butter, <laughs> sour cream. <laughs> it's all That's Danny. my kind of meal. It's a happy, happy boy right there. So we got these crushed up. We'll pour the butter in um, as soon as we get it all because this one's going on top. So this is all ready to go. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just pour the butter in here and get it all mixed up. Ooh, oh, that's kind of like, it reminds me of making um, like, like a cheesecake and you make the graham cracker crust, you oh, always yeah. put it together with butter. This is what I do with the uh, raspberry pretzel salad. Oh. I do it with the pretzels, you know, because it's with the crust. Ooh, look at that. Mamacita. Okay, so that's our topping. Then we're gonna just take the pan and we're gonna see which size pan we need. We're gonna start with the bigger one though because I feel like that's the way to go. Which is the size of most most like casseroles. casseroles, but I can't tell from the video if they use a smaller one or what, but we're gonna just try this one out. And we're gonna do this mixture first. And to that, we're gonna add the cream of chicken. We're just gonna slap it in there. There we <laughs> that go. That literally Plop. <laughs> almost landed on my forehead. Oh, that would have been awesome. <laughs> yeah. Then to that, you're gonna add one and a half cups of cheddar cheese. Ooh, so basically two. No. <laughs> we're gonna stick to the recipe. Okay, this time. I was just told. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you were. Okay, and then you're gonna just mix all that up. Oh wow. Actually, I think we have to add the ranch seasoning to this also. Okay, so this for the ranch seasoning, you're gonna add about two tablespoons to this. That looks about good. And then you're gonna mix it all up really well together. Wow. Oh man, that ranch seasoning Look just... at this flavorful concoction. <laughs> it's gonna be good. Oh yeah, and with that kind of texture right there, you definitely have to have the Ritz crackers for the, uh, the, crunch. For the crunch. Well, we're gonna have the bacon in there oh. and the chicken. Whoa. Wow, oh. heaven. Boom, look at that, you guys. That. Look. It's already looking delish. Look at this. Boom. Wow, that was awesome. Ba <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bacon and then chicken. I just did a whole rotisserie. Oh, wow. That's all going to go in there. Look at that protein. <laughs> this is healthy. <laughs> Super healthy. And then you're going to mix all that up. Oh, wow. We had a little concern on whether or not this was going to fill up the dish. But it's doing totally. a pretty good job. I mean, you add in all the meat and stuff, it kind of bulks it up, which is nice. So that is basically it, you guys. We're gonna smooth this out, which is totally nine by 13 pan, guys. I was kind of wondering, but. Oh, it's so fine. And then we're gonna literally make another another one of these. Yep. So we're literally gonna get two of these for our family. And uh, I told Tina earlier that uh, we would need two servings because one will have to be for me. <laughs> Danny thinks he's eating a whole one of these, which mm, no, is probably I I doable. <laughs> wow, that's a pretty good spread right there. Thanks, I'm a pro. Dang. That's literally it though, you guys. Just that, and then you add the Ritz crackers on top. Let's see. The butt, the buttery Ritz crackers. Wow. Ooh. Hello, chef. And that'll crisp up a little bit more in there in the oven too. That is so good. And then we do round two, but basically you're gonna put this in the oven at 350 for about, it says about 30 minutes, which is actually perfect timing for me to make the second batch. And then once this one's gone, the other one will be ready for everybody to eat. Look at that, you guys. Look at that. That is exciting. Mouthwatering. Boom, 
boom, you guys. So it is all done. Check this out. It smells amazing. Wow. So we're gonna go ahead and test this out. Kids are starving. They wanna eat. So I'm gonna just take a little piece of this. Here, get a close up of what this looks like. Hopefully it looks, look at that cheesy Ooh. goodness. <laughs> oh my. I mean, you got the chicken, you got the bacon, you got the cheese, you got the crunch. The yeah, let's see. Should I try it? It's gonna be hot, hot, hot. Look at that steam. Ooh mm. Is that good? Oh, it's hot. Does it need like salt or anything or is no. it good? Really? Because the ranch seasoning. Oh yeah. That is so good. Really? Yeah, you're gonna like it. Okay. Because it's got the crunch. Oh, you're gonna love this. This is good. Really good. Mmm. 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 Okay, so Daniel. It gives me like a chicken pot pie vibes. Oh. Like the smell. It's definitely like a comfort food, you know what I mean? Like all. <laughs> like comfortable. <laughs> it's gonna comfort you all night. <laughs> oh wow. Santa has entered the building. <laughs> Come on. Mm. Bomb diggity. Mm. And I like it because it has like, it looks like it could be like, I was thinking like, oh, this is kind of like funeral potatoes. Mm -hmm. But it has literally a different taste because of the ranch dressing and it has the chicken, it has the bacon, it has all of that. And I was going to tell you, she's making another batch to put extra cheese, did you? I did. That'll still be good. But it almost doesn't really need it. Oh, that's interesting. Yes. Who told you that? You did. Oh. <laughs> I have no problem admitting that. I brought it up. That's crazy. Yeah, it's actually really good. It's yum, huh? Yes. Boom. So there you have it, you guys. Cracked chicken casserole. So good. With Amazing. With bacon, rich crackers, cheese, chicken, all the good stuff. We'll put the in the we'll put the uh, ingredients in the description box below, or just keep rewatching it. <laughs> Keep rewatching it until you got it down. Basically, it's if I have time to put it in the description, I will do that. Yes. <laughs> I'll do my best. <laughs> yeah. So comment down below any other quick recipes you'd like us to make that you would like us to share with the other fan with all of the other fan bammers. Let us know and we'll give you a shout out if we use yours. So that's it, you guys. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and most importantly, don't forget, choose your day. day.